So as some of you guys know, I got a new phone. This is an iPhone. This is a Samsung Fascinate. I use Verizon as a carrier. And people have been asking what I thought about this phone. Uh, if you want to turn it on after it turns off, there's no way to turn it on. There are no buttons, which I don't like. Which is why I like the iPhone, because there's a button that can turn turn on your phone. It ran out of batteries. This one, you have to hit the but the button on the side right here. It can get annoying, and then you have to unlock it. Bam. And then it looks just like an iPhone. You can customize your home page. Uh, you can make it so like your home page is like your Twitter feed or your Facebook, anything, your email. Um, but I just make it so it's customizable with all these apps on it. Um, just hit Gmail and you got all your emails. Um, you got. Uh... I didn't like it in the beginning because it was hard to make phone calls. Um, and it still is. It's a little difficult to make phone calls. You gotta hit contact, and then you gotta like scroll all the way down to your to the name. Um, whereas you can't. I mean, you can't even type someone's name, or can you? I don't think you can. I tried. Um, so that's one of the the drawbacks. One of the best things about this phone is when you want to make a text. Uh, when you want to text someone, let me bring it up here is you get your contact up there and then if you want to type something you can type something if you want but you can also um, take advantage of the mic hey I am at my house right now and I am eating bananas I'm eating bananas it just types it for you it makes things so easy um, and you can also put periods and exclamation mark. You just say uh, what you want. So, bam. Hi, how are you? Period. And that's a little period. Um, so it's pretty accurate um, most of the time. So uh, I really like that. I don't have to ever type because I hate typing on this. I wish there were buttons, but unfortunately there aren't. Um, another great thing is that the screen is a lot more colorful and vibrant than the iPhone, um, and it's very clear. It's like HD quality, if there is such a thing for phones. So that's the positive and the negative. I was actually going to get a Droid X, but they ran out, um, and I didn't want to wait a day because I'm impatient. So I just got this instead, and uh, if you use it a lot, um, the battery lasts all day um, and trains at the end of the day um, and I do use it a lot so uh, and another um, thing you want to be careful of is there's a lot of apps that are running like you have to turn all this stuff off um, if you turn it on it gets cranked and that drains your battery um, there are a lot of apps that keep running and it won't stop running until you end it um, and that drains your battery like crazy. So, I wish they had a better battery pack for this, but it's it's still a good phone. I'm getting used to it, so I've had it for like a few weeks now, a couple weeks. So it's, it's good, except for the phone call thing. Um, so yeah, it's, it has everything else like an iPhone has, and um, the camera's nice too. I gotta show. It's got a video camera. Pretty clear. Um, and that's about it. Samsung Fascinate uh, from Galaxy S. David Jones.